Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. Good morning and welcome to Holy Spirit Parish online streaming. This morning we celebrate Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. Our Mass intentions are for John Burek by, by his children, Tom Janaki by his family, and Anthony F. Pagley by his wife Pearl and children. Our entrance antiphon O oh Lord, do not stay afar off. My strength, make haste to help me. For I am warm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our faults and failings. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to do, to will and to do what you command, that people called to eternal life may be one in faith of their hearts and in, in the homage of their deeds, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall there be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and they shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be with their God and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the house of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as the shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy, I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. 
Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise and, and honor, honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the crimes that you have committed, says the Lord, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened with the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in the public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, what do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's scripture readings begin with the Jewish people scattered in Babylonian exile. They're scattered in many different lands, and how they came to be scattered in this way was that they, like all of us throughout the history of salvation, went through these periods of turning away from God, turning to God, turning away from God, and not being uh, faithful in our worship and in giving our lives to Christ, to, to God. And so in turning away from God, even when they were in the promised land, they started worshiping false gods, little petty idols, idols that they thought would give them wealth or power or popularity, in much the same way that we turn to false gods today. And this led to their being in exile where there were even more idols. And because they were scattered, it was harder for them to worship the true and living God there was a greater temptation for idolatry. And it's in the midst of this, in the darkest hour, when they're scattered, they feel separated, and there seems no hope that they'll be able to reconnect and be in communion with the true and living God. It's in this moment that uh, the prophet Ezekiel promises that they will be reunited that God will reunite his people. He will call his people together, reunite the scattered, and more than that, that he will give them a shepherd, that he will show them the way back to true worship, back to a relationship with the living God. And more than that, that he would dwell among them. 
that he would be a living presence and that this covenant he was making with them would endure forever. It seemed impossible to the Jews in exile that God would fulfill these promises, and yet he did. As the early Christian church reads these passages from the Old Testament, both Jeremiah and Ezekiel, the church saw the fulfillment of these promises in Jesus Christ, in the incarnation of the word, to shepherd his people and to dwell amongst them. And after Jesus' crucifixion, death, and resurrection, and ascension into heaven, that Jesus remained present with the early church in the Holy Eucharist. This is the fulfillment of the promise. These days, we can feel, rightfully so, separated. We're told to practice social distancing, and it is for our protection. But we can feel distant and apart from one another. We have to wear gloves and masks. We have to avoid coming together in large crowds. And when we are together, even with small numbers of people, we have to limit our physical contact with them. There's something not quite human about that. Human beings, we're social beings. We thrive off of interaction. And yet this is how we have to live during this particular period of time. It's easy to feel isolated. It's easy to feel separated. But the promise that comes to us in sacred scripture today is that God will gather us together again. God does fulfill his promises. And that still God dwells amongst us even though we're separated. We remain in communion with each other in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Let's keep these words of the prophet Ezekiel as well as the prophet Jeremiah in our hearts and in our minds today. And remember what Jeremiah said, he who scattered now gathers them together and guards them as a shepherd his flock. May God bless you. faith and hope, let us now place our petitions before our Heavenly Father this morning. For the church, may God use this season of Lent to purify and unify her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who hold positions of civic authority, May God inspire their hearts through gener toward generosity and goodwill on behalf of the underserved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in this faith community who grieve the loss of a loved one, may God's peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who carry heavy burdens, May the easy yoke of Christ help to lighten their loads. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died or will die today, may the Lord guide them into eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In an especial way during this Mass, for John Burek, Tom Janaki, and Anthony Pegley, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And let us pause for our special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now let us pray our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, Jesus. You told, you told us, us where, where your, your treasure, treasure is. is. 
there your heart is also. The parishes of Lawrence County treasure our faith in you, our children, and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, and to build in your name. Guide us by your spirit of wisdom. Give success to the work of our hands and keep us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, and Mary, our mother, pray for us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your Wash hand Lord, for the praise the and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy Amen. church. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up hearts. to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, so, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy, deacons, and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you, sorry. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.